The Agiopath laser beam system is a laser beam system that mounts on the side of your bandsaw housing and projects a red laser beam line to show the path of the bandsaw blade to the board you're going to be cutting. This video is meant to be a follow-up to my previous video published about three years ago when we first introduced the Acupath system. That video is referenced below in the description section of this video. In that video we described the Acupath system, demonstrated how to install it in your bandsaw, and then we showed some general applications of the Acupath laser beam system. In this video I'll be describing some additional tips on installing the Acupath laser beam system using the fence on your bandsaw as a general guide. I'll also be showing some applications of the system on various projects we've used with the system over the past few years. The AccuPath provides two major features for the improved operation of your bandsaw. First of all, it projects its red laser beam to show you the exact position of your bandsaw blade going through the board you're going to be cutting. Undoubtedly, the most important feature of the AccuPath system on the bandsaw is for the improved safety when operating the bandsaw. The bandsaw can be a dangerous piece of equipment in the shop. One must be careful to keep the hands far removed from the rotating bandsaw blade and to use push sticks whenever possible. The AccuPath projects its red laser beam for the future path of the bandsaw blade. This gives the operator a clear path of the bandsaw blade and warns the operator to keep his hands out of this path. Basically, if you see a red line on your hands or fingers, you have a warning system to move your hands. It enables you to know the exact path of the bandsaw blade on the board that you are cutting so you can use extra care to keep your hands and fingers far removed from the path of the bandsaw blade. The bandsaw laser system consists of a red line laser module mounted in aluminum offset mounting bracket. Magnets are attached to the bracket to enable the bandsaw laser system to be attached to the top bandsaw wheel housing. The magnets hold the bandsaw laser on the wheel housing of the bandsaw and it does not require the drilling of any mounting holes. However, if you desire, these magnets can be removed from the bracket and the bracket laser can be mounted directly on the bandsaw housing. However, this will require the drilling of holes into the side of your bandsaw top wheel housing. The alignment of the laser beam would be more difficult with this type of installation. The laser is a red 650 nanometer 5 milliwatt line laser encased in a 1 half inch diameter cylinder that mounts in the offset mounting bracket with a set screw for mounting and holding the laser in place. Please remember to use care when operating the laser to avoid eye exposure since this is an intense laser beam that can cause eye damage if handled improperly. The battery case requires two AA batteries to power the laser, which are not included with the system. The battery case includes an on-off switch and is attached to the laser cylinder and bracket by a short electrical connecting cable. The battery case mounts into the bandsaw housing with a Velcro strip which is included with the system. By mounting this battery pack independent of the laser beam, this will avoid any chance of moving the laser beam when turning the laser off and on. In our previous video, we described the installation of the AccuPass system on the bandsaw using my AccuSlice rail as a guide. In this video, I'm going to be using the standard bandsaw fence as a guide to align the uh, laser beam. I begin by selecting a board, a piece of scrap wood about 3 inches wide, about 18 inches long. And I'll be cutting off a path about three quarters of the way through this board. What I'll be doing, I'm creating a, a kerf through this board that I'll be using as a line to adjust my bandsaw laser beam. So let me begin by, first of all, cutting the uh, slot through this board. So what you can see now, this uh, laser beam was pre-adjusted previously, and that laser beam goes right through the kerf on that bandsaw blade cut. So to align the bandsaw laser beam, what you first of all do is raise your blade guide. You want to expose as much of the bandsaw blade as possible. So what I'm doing here is I'm projecting that laser beam down the teeth of the blade and down the path of my cut through my board. That way no matter what thickness of board I have, the laser beam will always be accurately aligned. If not already done so, Attach the laser cylinder into this offset aluminum bracket and lightly tighten with a small set screw. The magnets are attached to the bracket with screws and nuts. Make sure the screws and nuts holding the magnet are tight before proceeding. 
Next we want to attach this magnet to the approximate location it's going to be on the bandsaw uh, housing. Be careful these magnets are quite strong so keep your fingers away from the magnets because you can pinch your fingers if you're not careful. So I'm just positioning this close to my bandsaw blades here so I'm just going to get it close and get it in position. This can all be you know slid to get it to the accurate position. Now I've attached some uh, Velcro to my battery case which is above the laser system and I'm just mounting that as such. Turn on the switch on the laser to project the laser beam down onto the work surface. The next few steps take a little manipulation of the bandsaw laser system to perfectly align the laser. The system has three degrees of motion to enable the alignment of the laser beam on the bandsaw. First of all you can move the L bracket left or right to move the beam. You can also rotate this and the third rotation is you can loosen the set screw on the laser and rotate the laser beam and then lock it back in place. And use those three uh, degrees of motion to align the laser beam perfectly. If you go to use your laser and all you see is a small red dot and not the laser line, then this metal cap and the plastic lens have become separated in shipment. Search the bag in which the laser was shipped to locate both the one half inch diameter metal cap and a clear plastic lens. Insert the plastic lens on top of the laser cartridge and screw the cap to hold it in place. The AccuPath laser beam mounts on this top housing on your bandsaw blade, just above you know, your blade. And it mounts to the bandsaw housing with this bracket which has two strong magnets. These magnets are pretty strong that once you set this, it's pretty hard to move it. Uh, but it, it's not going to move due to the vibration of your bandsaw you know, or, or changing blades. It's gonna, it should be holding its position quite accurately. But it can be moved to adjust it slightly. So what you basically are trying to do, you want to play with these three degrees of rotation, you know, back and forth, rotating it, and then rotating this, that you get that laser beam to go right down the teeth of your bandsaw blade and right down the kerf that you created in your board. So you play with this, uh, it takes a little while of time to adjust this. You might want to just tap it or you know, put a little, quite a bit of pressure to move it. Usually a small hammer, I can tap it you know, to move it a small amount. Uh, and the idea is, it, is to get it perfectly aligned that goes right down the bandsaw blade and right down the kerf that you created in the board you just cut. And in the future, whenever you cut a board, no matter what the thickness of the board, that blade will always be in line. Here you see the laser beam following the pattern of the teeth in the bandsaw blade and it projecting right down through the kerf in the board you just cut. So you can see that that uh, laser beam projected right on the teeth of the bandsaw. You can see it reflecting off the sides of the, of the teeth and then right down the middle of that kerf of the blade. So as I cut future boards, if I'm cutting a board and I want to make sure it's you know, cutting way out here accurately, you know, no problem. I can just line it right up and adjust my uh, fence accordingly. Here's a common application of the laser beam to show you exactly where you want to cut. I have a board here that I'm trying to recycle and I've been used for a drawer front and there's some holes here. But I want to, you know, get this good piece of wood here but not cut the holes. So I can align this on my fence. I align my beam so I can see I'm missing both of the holes. I'm getting a good board here. I can actually turn it over to the other side and check that also. So when I go and cut this now, I cut my good board out and cut these you know, holes out completely because I have an accurate alignment of my uh, cut all the way out to the end of the board. I've installed the AccuWedge on my bandsaw and now I'm ready to make a segmented disc. The segment of this is going to have 18 segments per ring and the outside diameter is going to be 4 inches. So I know based on that calculation, the outside length of my segment should be 0.71 inches. So I've taken my board and I put a line at 0.7.1 inches. I already made my first cut on the board. So now I'll put this back in the bandsaw on the Accu Wedge and I'll line the laser beam such that it just hits on the edge of that line. Adjust my stop. 
So I'll make board to be exactly the same length. And then we're ready to start cutting our wedges. And it's 7.708, pretty close to 7.71. It shows you the advantage of using the system. You can actually measure uh, where, your, where your blade's gonna cut. So I'll just continue cutting additional pieces until I have my ring completed. So after sanding off the fuzzies and cleaning up the edges, I have my completed disc, exactly four inches in diameter. Here's an example of a glued up segmented ring with alternating contrasting woods. In this project, I made some laminated, multi-layer laminate boards, and then cut them at an angle using the Accu sled. Each of the angled boards needed to be one half inch thick. So I measured the required thickness marked it on the laminated board, and used the AccuPath laser beam to adjust for the path of the bandsaw blade through the laminated boards. For this project, I made six sets of matched knife handles. There's two scales for each knife handle. And here's my resulting three knives made with the angled pattern on the handles. In this project I'm using the AccuPath laser beam to adjust the cutting position for producing some six-sided cylinders using the AccuFacet system. And this is the finished six-sided uh, cylinder. This uh, six-sided cylinder will be used in the next project to make the Celtic ring pattern. When using the AccuSlot system to produce Celtic ring patterns, the AccuPath laser beam system is invaluable. With this technique, you need to produce accurate positions for each of the cuts in the boards. In this project, I'm producing two slots 3 sixteenths of an inch apart to produce a double Celtic ring pattern. So here you can see how I cut the slot in the six-sided cylinder and I'll glue in an insert to finish this project. And here's a completed project after turning and finishing. Here's another example of cutting multi-angle Celtic rings on the bandsaw. In this project it's imperative that the slots for the rings cross each other in the center of the board. This would be impossible without the AccuPath laser beam. The system enables you to accurately position each of the slots so they intersect each other in the middle of the board. After the board position has been set with the AccuPath laser beam, the board is clamped to the table with three clamps. The laser beam assures that I don't cut into any of the clamps. And again, here's a finished project after turning and finishing. This concludes this video on the AccuPass system. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to give us a call or visit our website for additional details. And once again, thank you for watching this video.